leadership you want to become a leader so for you to become a leader the others have to follow right struggle you're struggling right action action is to do with hatred right competition or uh, sports any sports if you take any sports it has some sort of anger in there or hatred in there so that's why these are red moving on to the yellow aura so um, that's loba or greed gives the yellow aura in the in the google characteristics um, research characteristics it says sunny and enthusiastic cheerful bright great uh, sense of humor fun opti- uh, optimism intellectuality openness to new ideas happiness warmth relaxation release of burdens problems and restrictions uh, hope and ex- expectation so if you take if you summarize this is to do with loba or greed hope expectation right happiness so these are to do with loba right uh, desire right moving on to the blue aura uh, which is moha or gives delusions in this uh, characteristics explanation they say depth uh, of feeling devotion loyalty trust desire to communicate puts great importance of personal relationships empathic may be a dreamer or have artistic ability emotionally sensitive inwardly focused peace love and affection in relationships poets writers musicians philosophers people looking for truth justice and beauty in everything so these are the, the people with blue auras so what does it say it's the delusions if you look at this it's poets hmm? writers they have a lot of you know dreams so that's not the actual that's not the truth they are you know covered with delusions that's what it is so it has a relationship there is a it goes with the moha right there are other colors too in the aura and also even animals have an aura right that's also something that you need to know then we we'll, we need to look at the vibration because every every object everything has a vibration right nama roopa we looked at nama roopa vijnana pacha nama roopa nama roopa can also be defined as a set of vibrations right so um looking at this in with science in a deeper manner right color uh, we are looking at a, a table where it says color wavelength frequency energy of light so these different colors have different uh, energy levels and this is uh, uh, measured in moles per kilojoules right red is 171 yellow is 204 and uh, blue is 254 so this can be in a range as well but according to this the highest one is the blue one and then the yellow one and the red one right um so if if you're not a science person if you don't understand i am not a science person myself so i i'm i don't understand these very well either but uh for us to understand there is this if you look at uh, the flame of a a gas a gas uh, fire in the gas cooker say for example when you switch it on you can see the blue flame and then the yellow and the red on top is the red the yellow one is in the middle and the blue one at the bottom right so when you switch it on you want to have it in blue because blue gives the most energy so that's why we like to have it in blue because blue um energy will um, cook the food easily or quicker right you know it's going to be very powerful than the yellow flame or the red flame so those are things that we know so that's how we can understand this 
uh, in summary right so after looking at all this and then uh, if you watch the videos as well you will understand a bit more i can't show the videos unfortunately so according to the emotions the colors change and according to the colors the frequencies change every every color has a different frequency and according to the frequency the energy changes so what does that mean is according to the emotions the energy level changes so the energy produced by the thoughts change according to, accordingly right so that is exactly what is described in buddhism as chetana bhikkave kammam vadami this kamma is the energy that we produce by uh, by chetana chetana is the emotions chetana are the thoughts chetana chitte thana creating the mind so that is what chetana is